Hello again, this is Mike Holloman uh, with North Park Innovations. So what we're looking at today is the TUE150, and it's an electrical trainer. Now, the most important thing that any technician has to know is going to be electrical. If you don't understand electrical, you're not going to go very far in this business, and uh, you might be a danger to yourself and to others. To be in the air conditioning business, you must not only have mastered the mechanical part of HVAC, refrigeration cycle, you have to be able to understand electrical. And all technicians must understand electrical because when you master that, you have to master three different sections of that. One is your control voltage. You have to understand controls and how they work. You also have to understand low voltage and you have to understand high voltage. Once you have that in hand, you're, you're ready to go. Then you look at each component in an HVA system or in this case, a house. Now, any well-trained HVAC technician is an excellent guy to know around the house because you can understand whatever's going on in the house. Um, and armed with those seven words, you look at this trainer and you go, okay, well, what do we have here? This trainer is based on safety for the person who's just getting initiated to electrical and learning about it. And the great feature about this trainer is the initial part of the learning is done on a low voltage level. So this trainer has the ability to uh, confirm with low voltage that the circuits are correct. And it has the ability also, once those systems have been proven uh, to be correctly uh, wired, then the instructor would then initiate the high voltage. So now you can turn light bulbs on and off. Um, this particular trainer has everything that a house would have. It's represented except for the air conditioning and refrigeration, but this is an electrical trainer. So once you understand this, you're good to go on most things. Um, but it's certainly a good initiation into the world of electrical. This trainer has a um, low voltage push button doorbell. Okay. And what that what that does is there's a transformer involved in that. So it takes a high voltage circuit, 120 volts, and it bucks that circuit down to 24 volt. And that's what rings your doorbell. Um, but it also has a feature to where it, it and I'll let Nick demonstrate the, the fact that it has a switch that the instructor controls that actually will allow the higher voltage to be introduced. Um, and, and there's a light that, that will initiate either low voltage or high voltage. So you won't be uh, wondering, uh oh, what I put on is that high or low? It, it initiates a light. So that's a good safety feature. Um, and it has two standard duplex receptacles on it, um, and they're GFI duplex. So that's a ground fault interrupter very important to have, um, and you'll find them as standards by any sink or bathtub, it, it's required. Or if it's in an outside wet environment, um, you have to have that by law. It also has two lamp circuits. So um, it, it, you can turn it on a, a three-way toggle switch. So you can turn it on one way and off the other. Um, that always seems to be a mystery. And, and here's how you demystify it. You take the covers off and, and you actually wire this thing up and, uh, and you understand a lot more of how it works. But the three-way does stand to mystify a lot of people. So it, it's, a, it's a, a good when you look at it that way. Um, and it's uh, got a, th a three-wire grounding circuit. You just plug this trainer into any, any outlet 
and you're good to go. Um, and it um, has a operation manual that comes with it. Now, tell me more about that, Nick. How how does how do you actually build this thing? Tell me what. Tell me a little bit about the unit itself. Sure. So, kind of in total, I'll just start from over here. This is the main power switch. So if I turn that power on, I can see a light lit here. And this is where the instructor has the ability to either turn it from 120 volt to 24 volt, and they can take the key switch out so the students won't be in danger if somebody turns that up to 120 volt. Everything beyond that is now low voltage. So if I turn that back to 120, we can see we go into our circuit breaker panel that's feeding everything down here below. And we've installed a lot of different types of conduit. So we have flexible metal conduit, some FMC. We use all types of different box connectors running to our steel boxes. So we've got EMT with different types of box connectors. We've got, um, I forget the name of this. It's still the, it's a flexible non-metallic conduit or this blue flexible connectors. Um, so yeah, if we want to walk circuit by circuit to to show everything. Absolutely, let's do that. So right here at the first breaker, we've got a 15 amp breaker that's gonna be running down to a standard duplex, a 15 amp duplex receptacle. Right. The next breaker is going to be a 20 amp breaker and that's going to feed a 20 amp GFCI which also has another duplex down below it, 20 amp, and that's also protected by the GFCI to let the students understand that you can have multiple GFCI protected outlets further downstream of one GFCI. So we have a GFCI tester plugged in here to show the operation and prove that it's wired correctly. Now our third breaker is a 15 amp circuit. That's all the power lines are running through that conduit as well to our three-way switches that are gonna to go to each lamp holder. That's so here's excellent. that operation. I can turn it on from that switch and turn it off from that switch. Then we have another 15 amp breaker running to our transformer here. So this is our low voltage doorbell. So I've got my front doorbell and the rear doorbell. Outstanding, and and this this trainer also demonstrates another important feature, and that is uh, the other thing that you will learn in this business is parallel in series circuits, and I can see that from here. Um, you have both both of them indicated, and this is this is a new feature that you guys have just come up with uh, at North Park, right? Uh, we've had it out for for a couple of years, but okay, it it does demonstrate the fact that that what we were talking about earlier with the logic circuit of how the line comes in from the box, it goes from the wall, it goes to the box, and how it's distributed from the box, it goes either to an outlet or it goes to a control switch, and then to the light bulb, and then back to the box. All right, and again, this is Mike Holloman signing off. And if you have any questions or concern, please contact me uh, through North Park Innovations. And um, I'd be glad to address any questions or concerns you have. And the folks there are, are so, so helpful. So um, please give me a call if I can help you. Their number is 716 699 201.